opening up to ET energies and contact. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have been excited for quite some time about sharing with you the following transmission. We have been able to detect a huge uptick in the overall vibration of the human collective consciousness, and we know that this is happening because you all have been far more open than ever before to receiving the energies that are coming from the other parts of the galaxy. The openness of humanity to extraterrestrial energies has never been stronger or wider. We observe how many are taking contact for themselves very seriously, and we also observe how many of your physical extraterrestrial friends are making their way into your lives, making their presence known to you. And then, of course, there's the extraterrestrial energy that comes from the collective like ourselves. We do have that Arcturian energy that we provide, even though you're not going to see us appearing in physical form appearing in front of you. The openness that you have to extraterrestrial contact must, of course, be a sign of the evolution of your consciousness, because the idea that there are other beings out there with more advanced technology than all you have could be fri quite frightening. You have all seen the science fiction movies about the invasion by this or that ET group. The reptilians have earned their reputation throughout the history of Earth and humankind on Earth. And yet, there you are, ready and open to receive from your ET brothers and sisters, and most of you do not see us as saviors of humanity. Most of you are level-headed enough to know that we cannot be your saviors. We must allow you to choose to be empowered, to not be under anyone else's control, and not to allow yourselves to be manipulated. That is a choice, even if it seems like you don't choose it from your egoic perspective. You did choose to come to this world and incarnate in this dimension so that you could break free from those chains of oppression. Know who you really are. Empower yourself and take your rightful seat at the galactic table. The fact that there are so many of you who are looking to do exactly what we are talking about here without an organized religion telling you that this is the overall goal is incredibly encouraging to us. You don't have a Pope telling you what to believe and what you're going to strive for, and yet there you all are, coming to the same conclusion. So how did you do it? You got quiet, you meditated, you went within yourself and you found the truth, and you found that desire to be a part of something bigger, and you can rest assured that you all are and you all will be. Personal ET Encounters We are so very happy to be speaking with all of you who will receive this transmission. We are very pleased to report to you that the progress you've been making has been making waves throughout the galaxy. More and more beings have been paying attention to those of you who are opening yourselves up to extraterrestrial content and to the high-frequency energies coming from the non-physical realm. There is, of course, quite a bit of talk about when each of you who is awake will be ready for full physical extraterrestrial contact. Some ETs take it upon themselves to connect with you, even when others in the discussion think you are not quite ready for the experience. But from what we see, all of you have handled your ET encounters very well and have integrated what the ETs were wanting to share with you. There are so many downloads and upgrades that you can receive in these moments. Some of you relax and allow the activations to occur. Others of you tense up, close yourself off, and do not receive the full force of the transmission. But in these instances, you are still getting better at receiving them. You are still getting closer to a time when the type of contact will be commonplace for you. We so enjoy witnessing those interactions and making the mental notes to ourselves about what works and what doesn't. Many ETs and collectives come to us for advice about how to approach humanity or about how to approach an individual who is awake and shows signs of being ready. We do our best to give them the advice that we believe will lead to a positive interaction where everyone gets what they want. For the most part, the ETs that you connect with are interested in activating within you certain extraterrestrial DNA or memories of when you were a part of their race. That type of knowing within you can build a bridge between humanity and those ETs, and when the bridges are built, you can have that contact that so many of you have been waiting for and desire. We want to say to those of you who are impatient because your contact experiences that they are coming, be patient, live your lives, know that there are plenty of ETs walking among you, and consider what a melting pot Mother Earth really is. You are surrounded by extraterrestrial energy, you are comprised of it, and the sooner you realize it, the easier it is for them to then connect with you. The Orion Star System We have been increasing the amount of energy that we have been sending to support you, and we are very pleased to see how many of you open yourself to it. We know that you tend to open yourselves up to receive more when you have a reason to, such as the Lion's Gate portal, and so we take advantage of that, and we sneak some more energy in. We also notice how well you are able to assimilate the energies coming from our star system, 
and we are also monitoring how well you are assimilating the energies from other star systems. The Orion system, for example, is very tricky because of the lack of trust that you all have of the Orion energies. Most of you are not conscious of this lack of trust, but your subconscious knows what you experience in that star system and how much trauma you carried forth from those Orion incarnations. We also notice that there are times when you will be receiving or assimilating more Pleiadian energy because you realize how healing it is. In the long run, you will say yes to all the different energies from the different star systems, and you will be able to assimilate all the energies and become your full galactic self. You often find that the best feeling energies are coming to you from our star system, and that is because of the very pleasant memories that you have of incarnating here. We have always been a peaceful people. We have always sought spiritual enlightenment, and that is always a big part of what you are doing there on Earth now as you consciously ascend to the fifth dimension. We do want you to open yourselves up to the star systems that have been home to more of your traumatic experiences, and we invite you to do so consciously. At times, it will seem like you are having a bad dream or a nightmare when you become aware of certain experiences you have had in other parts of the galaxy. But you will also realize how beneficial that it is, and how much the clearing is necessary and a part of your evolution and awakening. And by allowing more of the Orion energies in, you also grant yourself more access to the Pleiadian, Syrian, and Arcturian energies. You can and you will recall what you need to recall from those off-world incarnations, just as you will recall all of your ET experiences that you've had on Mother Earth in this and every other lifetime. It is quite a journey that you have put yourselves on, but always rest assured that you have the help of us, the Archangels, the Ascended Masters, and so many other beings of light and love who only want to help. You are strong and you are capable of handling it. This we have seen time and time again from humanity. Your Universal Self We are awakening within you the knowing that you have a past in this galaxy that extends beyond your solar system. And at the same time, we are giving you that knowing that you have a future in the higher dimensional realms. You have been ninth dimensional before, and you will be ninth dimensional again. You have been Arcturian before, and you will visit our star system again. If that weren't true, then you wouldn't resonate with us in the way that you do. The truth of your existence is that you're expanding out in all directions at once, and that includes all points in time. Or to put it another way, all points in space-time. You are becoming one with the entire universe, step by step, moment by moment. Now is the time you are becoming one with your higher selves, and that is very exciting. For a while, it is exciting and interesting to pretend that we are all separate. Why is that exciting and interesting? Well, you get to know us and other beings, and as you do, you get to know yourselves. You get to know more of what makes you up, and it's a fun way that Source devised to get to know Source. We are all just playing our roles in this magical tour of the universe. The universe is not even our whole selves. We are all more than this universe. Certainly we are more than this galaxy, each individual star system, and the planets and moons in which we being dwell. Therefore, we invite you to feel how significant you are as you look up at the stars. We invite you to feel how big and powerful you are when you extend your consciousness out to include all other beings. We are all doing this together, and it can be a lot more fun if you allow it to be. It is similar to the concept that you have of meeting a soulmate. When you are desperate to meet your soulmate and feel the time is running out on you, it's not that fun. So when you are looking to connect with beings like us, or fifth-dimensional Pleiadians, Syrians, Lyrans, or whomever, you want to do so because it is fun. You want to do so because you want to know more of yourself. And you have many different facets, many aspects. Again, you really spread out across the entire universe, and through beings like us, you are connecting the dots. You are becoming whole again, and we are just playing our part. We are one collective. There are many more that you haven't even heard of yet. So let's make this a fun and enjoyable ride to meeting more of who we are, and let's do it together, consciously. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you.